And when she came to St. Margaret's Church, and should hear Mass, and proposing to say her matins, and such other devotions as she had done aforetimes, her heart was drawn away from the saying of these, and set much on meditation. She, being afraid of the displeasure of our Lord, he said to her soul, Dread not, daughter, where is there a better prayer thou canst offer than to pray to me with thine heart or thine thought? Thou understandest thyself what thou ask of me, and thou understandest also what I say to thee, and thou understandest what I vouchsafe to thee, and to thee, and to thine. Also, daughter, I tell thee that thy spiritual director pleaseth me full much when he biddeth thee believe that I love thee. Daughter, I am highly pleased with him, for he biddeth thee that thou should sit still and give thine heart to meditation and think such holy thoughts as God will put in thy mind. Daughter, I tell thee, if thou would believe me, that contemplation is the best for thee and will increase thy love for me the most. And the more homely that thou should suffer me to be in thy soul on earth, it is worthy and rightful that I be the more homely with thy soul in heaven.